तो है गाई स्मार्ट सिक्योरिटी पैच हैज बीन अराइव्ड ऑन सैमसंग गैलेक्सी एस ट्वेंटी थ्री वन यू आई सिक्स पॉइंट वन स्टेबल वर्शन एंड आई हैव बीन यूजिंग इट लाइक फॉर थ्री डेज बट बिफोर दैट आई वॉज ऑन वन यू आई सेवन बीटा वर्शन एंड एस माई फोन वॉज हीटिंग सो मच आई हैड टू डाउनग्रेड टू वन यू आई सिक्स पॉइंट वन एंड इट्स रियली ईजी टू डाउनग्रेड फ्रॉम वन यू आई सेवन बीटा टू वन यू आई सिक्स Well in this video I'm going to tell you how you can downgrade from One UI 7 beta to One UI 6.1 stable version and I did record the videos but I lost the videos and I couldn't recover it but I'm going to tell you the process how to do it as simple as I can and I will give a brief review of Mart security patch update but before that if you have if you find this video informative don't forget to like share and subscribe so let's start Let me tell you the downgrading process from One UI 7 beta to One UI 6.1 stable version. First, you need to download Smart Switch from Play Store. If you have already installed, just check if it's in the latest version. And after that, downgrade Smart Switch and install in your Windows laptop. Then connect your S23 to your laptop using a USB cable. And as soon as you connect Smart Switch, it will automatically detect your S23. has been connected and then it will ask you whether you want to backup or restore yeah i forgot to tell you in this downgrading process you will lo lose all your pictures videos apps and everything so you need to backup either you can backup using smart switch but it will take so much time so i use my ssd to backup all the data from s23 and it's much faster so after that you will see a downgrade option on the bottom of the screen in smart switch app just click on that but don't touch your phone when the downgrading process is on and it will downgrade some plugins and you will be asked to download 11 gb file of one ui 6.1 stable version with march security patch update and you need to have at least 60 gb free on your c drive on your laptop and after downloading the one ui 6.1 stable version it will automatically install on your device and your device will restart and you will have to set up your phone from the beginning that's it it's easy peasy anyone can do it and one ui 7 stable version is expected to be available on s23 on april 7 so let's wait for that okay now let's talk about the march security patch update first let's talk about the camera Well in camera department Samsung has not made any changes yet and they haven't solved the two problems I have with my Samsung Galaxy S23 and the first problem is when I am using a 50 megapixel camera I can see a yellowish tint on the pictures but when I switch to 12 megapixel it takes natural pictures do you have the same problem with your S23 if yes do let me know And the second problem is when I switch from one X to three X, there is a jitter when switching between the lenses. It doesn't matter when you are taking pictures, but when you are making videos and switching lens from one X to three X, it affects the video. And about the performance, I haven't seen any performance issues in this update. It performs as it usually do, but when I ran CPU throttling. test the cpu throttle to 73% of its max performance in the last update cpu throttle to 83% of its max performance but in my day to day usage i am not feeling any downgrade in performance department now let's talk about the heating issue well the phone tends to get hot when i'm using 5g and it's not just because of the update it's because where i live the temperature is 39 degrees celsius and the humidity is like 89 percentage so maybe because of that samsung s23 has heating issues while using 5g and we have to remind ourselves that it's a compact device and there is no space for heat dissipation and while using wifi the phone stays cool in normal usage and about the battery life well let me tell you that you might not get the same screen on time i get because my usage is different from yours usage so let me tell you how much screen on time do i get okay when i use only 5g i get like 4 to 4 and 1/2 hours of screen on time and with mixed usage of wifi and mobile data like wifi i'm using like 60 percentage and mobile data 40 percentage i get like 5 to 5 and 1/2 hours of screen on time and just with wifi i get up to 6 to 6 and 1/2 hours of screen on time 
and it's in my usage so in the battery department the battery is just decent and if you are using s23 in hot weather outside your battery will drain faster because the phone will become hot and that will result in battery drain so tell me how much sot do you get on your s23 so this was my review about samsung galaxy s23 smart security patch update hope you find this video helpful if you find this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you